Hey, what's up guys, Tetrek here. I just wanted to give a quick demo of a config I'm using in my Steam controller. Uh, again, I just kind of want to say that this isn't the, I'm not doing this video to say this is the best control scheme. I'm doing this more as a way to give some tips, maybe some ideas that you guys can look at and uh, bring into your own config, uh, something maybe you haven't thought of maybe you have and you're doing it right now but uh just to kind of give you some ideas of uh something new maybe hopefully so first off um, i'll just go real quick what i have here um obviously uh traditionally you know you got your left mouse right mouse um set up on the triggers i'll get to the supply action layer uh layers are amazing um you can do so much with them um, your abilities are on the bumpers. Um, this is a uh, melee crouch over here, escape. Um, I have this set up basically to where it uh, opens up the menu and then calls the bike all with one button press. So that way I don't have to hit two. Um, and all I'm doing here is uh, telling it to press this. And then again, it's going to follow through with the next action where there's a fire start delay and uh, to press the E button. And then it's going to um, hold it. That's what this fire in delay is. It's going to hold it and then uh, until the bike appears. So I'll give you an example here. Um, so hopefully this works. Uh, of course, it doesn't want to work. And there we go. So I just pressed it and released it and that's what it does so um it's not that hard to go in the menu and just hit e you know so uh for the rest of the buttons here we'll go ahead and back out um uh space to jump on the on the thumb the right thumb pad i really like that because i can uh you know turn while i'm jumping um rather than I mean, you could put this on the bumper. Some people call it bumper jumping. It just feels really good on the thumb pad for me. Um, so I have that there. Um, A is interact, which is the E button. Uh, B is my uh, ultimate because I felt like I was hitting it on accident too much with my other buttons. So I put it there out of the way. Um, so I'm not hitting it on accident. Uh, X is reload, Y is switch weapons. I have some menu but quick menu buttons inventory um the map uh you know and such uh movements which is uh and the, the shift which is um the run the sprint um i also have gyro on uh, the gyro only activates when i'm touching the right pad so um when i, when I let go of the pad the gyro stops moving I found with gyro always on, which I like to play sometimes on certain games, it just, you know, constantly having to turn it off to readjust the gyro was getting to be a pain in the rear. So I had to retrain my mind to, you know, <laughs> you know, retrain myself to, to live without that. But, um, so that's with the right touchpad, turning the gyro on with the sensitivity drop down a bit. Acceleration, man, I really like acceleration because you can, move it around really quickly yeah you lose some accuracy but when uh i'll show you why i like to do that um here in a second uh so we'll go back to apply action layers okay so i got an action layer called gyro here right um so what this does is it's going to turn um the gyro into something different it increases the sensitivity which means that it moves even faster um, and when i right trigger soft pull well, uh, it's going to slow it down so basically i'm going to be soft pulling a lot in this config and i'll show you here in a second so with that um it when I let go of the soft pull, it's going to remove this and go back into default. So default is apply this action layer on soft pull and then release. So let me show you here. 
how this works. Um, okay, so if I go in here, see where it says start press. So when I start press, that means I'm holding the soft wool, right? It's going to apply this this gyro. When I go to gyro and I uh, I release it, I hope I'm saying that word right. I sound like a dumbass if I am not. So I apologize. Um, when I go release it, it's going to remove that action layer and go back into default. Okay, so um, I, I'll show you what happens. So I'm moving around. So what it does is, when I hold this soft trigger down, it I'm not even touching the right thumb pad. It automatically turns it always on. So let me show you this. So when the gyro, I'm in gyro. So the mouse now is set to always on. So when I pull that soft pull, the, the gyro is going to be always on. So I can see how quick it is, though. So, um, so to slow it down, when I'm ready to fire, I'm going to soft pull the right trigger. And you can see the gyro gets more under control. So like I have more movement with that, that uh, gyro right there. So I can hit headshots and body shots pretty easily by doing that. So... Full pull on the left is going to bring up my uh, um, sights. So I can full pull, still be in gyro, which is always on, and then soft pull to give more control. Um, and we'll, we'll show you some action with that here in a second. So when I'm soft pulling, it's almost like, I'm not going to say like a real gun, but I'm pressing against the, the stop before full pull on my right trigger. And so it's always ready to fire and then I just hold it down to fire. So why do I like this? Well, I can move it around real quick, slow it down and then let go and move it around real quick and slow it down. So it allows me to turn, get some action and then sight, see I'm moving and then get control. So I'm using multiple settings for the gyro to, uh, to be able to move quickly and then get some control on the accuracy. Um, I, another thing too I added was hip fire. Um, so basically right now you can see my thumb pad. I'm, I'm holding thumb pad, my right thumb pad. I, I have some gyro control with it because it, it, the thumb pad's pressed, right? Um, but if I wanna, want to want a little more action with my because it's whipping around when I throw my thumb around the, uh, the thumb pad so what I did here was if I go to default on the mouse pad I did an additional setting with right trigger soft pull so what that's gonna do is when I soft pull for hip fire my right thumb pad isn't going to jerk around as much so i can actually use the gyro which slows is slow already naturally and use my thumb pad so i'm not whipping across the screen and and uh i'll be able to hit targets a little easier so let's let's go look for some guys here and i'll show you Okay, so I'm going to do some hip fire. Let's get a different gun here. So I'm doing hip fire with a gyro. Um, slows it down so I can hip, get more control. Okay, so that's, that's hip fire action. It, I mean, it works pretty well. Now when I go to, if I want to do long range, you can see I, I'm, it's switching modes to the gyro mode, which gives me really quick. And then I'm going to soft pull for more accuracy. Uh, so, um, this guy is a funk. Uh, 
I mean, I'm still tweaking this out. I'm sure there's some ways that I can uh, get this to work a little better. But it feels really good to me, in my opinion. I mean, just switching with those action layers, I'm able to manipulate the butt, the, uh, the gyro and the mouse movements um, to where they do different things when I'm activating my triggers. Um, so that way I have a little more control and I can still got the maneuverability to, to turn on a dime. And when I'm ready to, uh, to do this. So anyways, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this.